By default, most cameras are set to auto white balance. However, white balance can be set in the camera as well in order to reflect the environment in which the photograph is being taken. For example, daylight versus flash or fluorescent versus tungsten. An image's white balance has two components. The first component is temperature and the second is tint. The temperature measures the coolness or the warmness of an image. The tint compensates for magenta or green color casts in the image. In this exercise, we're going to remove color cast in a TIFF image, but use the camera raw in order to do so. To get started, let's click on the File menu, scroll down and select Open As. Listed are all of the data files that we'll be using for Photoshop CS4 Part 2 Online Learning Modules. In order to download them now, go to www.calstatela.edu slash ITS slash training slash data files slash Photoshop CS4 P2.exe. If you've already downloaded the data files, in the Open As dialog box, locate and select data file removing color cast TIFF. Then click on the Open As arrow and select Camera Raw from the list. So what we're virtually doing is opening up a TIFF file format image in Camera Raw in order to remove the color cast. After you follow these steps, click on the Open button. Now that our TIFF image has opened up in Camera Raw 5.0, find the basic panel and click on the white balance arrow. From the submenu, go ahead and select Auto. As you can see, the color cast has been removed. Now in order to adjust the exposure, go ahead and click on the Auto link located right above the exposure slider. Now the next thing that we want to do is remove the red eye in the little girl. The zoom tool has already been selected, but if it hasn't, go ahead and go to the tools bar on the very top of the Camera Raw 5.0 window and select it before zooming into the image. Now from the same toolbar, select the red eye removal tool. Afterwards, using your mouse, drag a selection around each red eye. In the red eye removal panel, select the darken slider and drag it to the right until the subject's red eyes disappear. Now I'm going to select the camera raw window and drag it upward in order to show you the show overlay checkbox. Go ahead and deselect the show overlay checkbox by clicking on the checkbox once. Now take a look at the preview of the image. The color cast as well as the red eyes have been removed. Now you can either open the image in Photoshop by clicking on the Open Image button, or in order to save the changes and close the image, you can click on the Done button.